Hello, I am Anand Gopala Krishnan of Class 10D. Let's explore some plants in urban gardens in Hyderabad. We'll be exploring the biodiversity around us with the help of my morning walks through my colony, Aparna Serene Park. All the pictures and videos you will be seeing have been taken by me. Hello, I am Anand Gopala Krishnan. This plant is called Heliconia. Today I was thinking about SDG 15, Life on Land, and how it is important to protect our biodiversity for the future. So join me today on my morning walk as I show you some of the plants in my colony. So let's start with some flowering plants, shrubs and vines. The first one you've already seen, Heliconia or the Lobster Claw Plant. This plant is the bird of paradise, Australitsia. And here we can see the giant purple spider lilies. Spider lilies can also be white in color. And here we can see the red and white Brasilia plant. Brasilia comes in many colors, red, white and pink. It's called the firecracker plant as well. And this plant is called Musaenda. Musaenda, also called the flag bush, can be white or red. This plant is Ixora or the jungle geranium. This plant is the Egyptian star cluster or pentas. It can come in different colors varying from white, purple and pink. This plant is the Japanese honeysuckle or Lonicera japonica. This plant is the golden trumpet vine or Alamanda catartica. And here is a different Alamanda species, the purple Alamanda or Alamanda blanchetti. Now we come to Trimesia or the walking iris plant. And this plant is the Mexican petunia or Ruelia simplex. Here is a different view of the same plant. This plant is called Jetropha. This particular Jetropha is the spicy Jetropha or Jetropha integerima. This plant is a different Jetropha species, Jetropha podagraica or the Buddha belly plant. It is poisonous to animals. This plant is the powder puff plant or Caliandra. This one is the white orchid tree or Bohinia acuminata. This plant is the bush clock vine or Tanbergia erecta. And here's a different Tanbergia species, which is called the blue trumpet vine. This plant is the yellow Jacobinia or Justicia aurea. The plant which you just saw is the chenille plant or Acalypha hispida. 
Now we come to the pink trumpet vine or Podrenia ricasoliana. This plant is the fire bush or Hamelia patens. And now here are some lilies. This plant is the Singapore daisy or Sphagneticola trilobata. That plant is the 4 o'clock flower or Mirabilis jalapa. It is called as such because it blooms at 4 o'clock in the evening. This plant was plumbago or the lead wart. And that plant was Calphemia gracilis or the shower of gold plant. These flowers are rain lilies or Zephyranthus. They come in different colors varying from pink, white and yellow. This plant is the common lantana or lantana camara. It is an invasive species and it comes in different colors including yellow, white and even pink. This plant is Euphorbia milii or the crown of thorns plant. This plant is the pinwheel flower or Taberni montana divericata. This plant is called the peace lily or Spathiphyllum. This plant is called Pseudaranthemum. The comet Jezebel butterfly can also be seen in this particular picture. Here's a different Pseudaranthemum species. This plant is called pinecone ginger. It's also called shampoo ginger because when you squeeze the flowers of this plant, you get a shampoo, which you can use. This plant is the Cape Honeysuckle or Tecoma capensis. These plants are called oleanders of the genus Nerium. They are poisonous to animals as well, and they come in a variety of different colors. This plant is the Madagascar periwinkle or also called vinca. Now let's come to some plants with interesting leaves. This plant is the tree philodendron or philodendron bipinatifidum. This plant is the Zanzibar gem or Zamioculcus zamifolia. This one is the bird catcher tree or Pisonia alba. This interesting plant is the Umbrella papyrus or Cyperus alternifolius. It is called as such because its shape resembles that of an umbrella. This plant is the Arica palm or Dipsis lutescens. And this one is the Elephant's ear or Alocasia. Some plants can be purple. That plant was the purple heart or Tradiscantia pallida. Here's another purple plant, the boat lily or royo or Tradiscantia spathesia. Here's another purple plant, red ivy, Hemigraphis alternata. And some plants can have variegated leaves. This particular plant is the caricature plant or Gratophyllum. 
This plant is the garden croton or Codium variegatum. This plant is red resina. There are many species of Acalypha. This one is the red one. And this one is green. Acalypha is also called the copper leaf. This plant is called the dwarf umbrella tree or Schefflera arbolicola. This plant is the Thai plant or Cordyline fruticosa exotica. This plant is the snow bush or Brainia. This plant is the spider plant or Chlorophytum. Now let's come to some trees and larger plants. So here we see the Ashoka trees in the colony. The Ashoka tree is also called Polyalthia. This, this tree is the Indian olive tree or Eliocarpa. This one is the Bismarck palm or Bismarckia nobilis named after Bismarck. This plant is the Chinese tuja or Platycladus orientalis. This one is Frangipani or Plumeria. It comes in many colors including a dark pink, light pink and white. This plant is the peacock flower or Cecilpinia pulcherima. It comes in orange and yellow. This plant is Lagestromia indica or the crepe myrtle. Now let's come to some more plants. This is the paper flower or bougainvillea. This is bamboo or bambusa. This is fountain grass or penicetum. It comes in purple and green variants. These are different species of asparagus. And here we can see the beautiful red canna lily. Canna lilies also come in other colors including orange and yellow. So these are hibiscus or the china rose. This is the pink version and this is the red version. And now I relax after my morning walk sitting among the plants in my balcony garden. This flower is called hibiscus. It has just flowered today morning. So I think all of you should grow plants in your garden because it will help to protect biodiversity and it is just pretty to look at. Thank you all for watching.